construct a right triangle with a compass and a straight edge. We're at 4.6D. In video 3.4C, we learned to construct perpendicular lines, and we can construct a right triangle by constructing a perpendicular line. So quick review on constructing a perpendicular line. We have line L and we have point P up here. We put the compass point on P and we make it a little bit longer than the distance from P to the line, like this, and we draw an arc that intersects line L at two points and we can label them A and B. Now we put the compass point on A and we want it to be a little bit more than halfway between A and B. And with the point on A, we make a very big arc. We keep the setting, put the point on B, and make a very big arc. Now, we take our straight edge and draw a line through this intersection and this intersection. We've made a perpendicular bisector. Now, all we have to do is connect PB with a segment, and we've made a right triangle with a compass and a straight edge. So a real quick recap, we had a line with point P, we took our compass a little bit farther than the line distance from P, and we made an arc with two intersections on our line, we labeled them A and B, then we took our compass a little bit more than halfway of the distance here, and we made an arc, a big arc, with our point on A. We did the same thing for B and made a big arc, took our straight edge and drew a line through those two intersections of the big arcs, and then we connected point P to point B. Okay? Our next lesson in the playlist is going to be 4.7a, and we're going to talk about CPCTC. That's congruent parts for congruent triangles are congruent. So just remember, you can make a right triangle with a compass and straight edge if you know how to make a perpendicular bisector. I'll see you next time. Hit the like button if it was helpful. Bye.